Tillamook, a word from the ancient Native American tribes in this area meaning land of many waters. A fitting title considering Tillamook County has four bays and nine rivers. The town of Tillamook, Oregon is situated along Highway 101 just inland from the Pacific Ocean near the Tillamook Bay. Although known mainly for its dairy farms and pasture land, Tillamook is surprisingly rich in culture and has many attractions. Fishing, grabbing, golfing, kayaking, scenic coastlines and slow paced lifestyles are some of the alluring aspects to the area. What I like most about Tillamook is the water that's available. I'm a whitewater kayaker and I used to hunt and fish a lot. I'm kind of a country person and I like to be in the outdoors. A safe community, it's a very, very strong community support. There's a tight network of families that care for each other here. I moved from a big city and was looking for a slower pace of life, a little more organic, and I found it here in Tillamook. Hospitality, tourism, and recreation industries thrive here, especially in the summer months, and comprise almost 60% of all local employment. Unfortunately, these are mostly low-wage jobs. The median household income for families here is less than $30,000 per year. In fact, it is disturbing to know that over 30% of Tillamook County's population actually lives below the poverty level. A comfortable family wage job would be in closer to $20 an hour. And in order to get those jobs, those are more of the professional jobs. Um, they generally require a little more training post high school. There are several technology-driven industries here many of whom are in need of skilled workers. One example is our local lumber industry. My name is Mark Elson. I'm the plant manager with Hampton Affiliates here in Tillamook. It ha uh, Hampton started with uh, Bud Hampton in 1935. They decided to buy a mill and 11,000 acres out of Willamina, uh, Oregon. And that's where Hampton really started. I monitor and control all of the, basically all of the processes, the automation portion of the, of the whole entire plant as well as some of the electrical drawings. I'm uh, working forward on, on getting materials, uh, work arranged for the other electricians. Hampton creates many opportunities for employment for many different areas. In Tillamook we have 119 employees, so native to Tillamook I would say are the majority of those employees uh, here in Tillamook. The lumber industry provides well-paying jobs for those possessing higher technical skills. Starting wage for a millwright is about $20 per hour. Supervisors and those with more experience can make even more. Uh, my name is Chris Sturk and um, I'm the plant manager here at the Tillamook site for Stimson Lumber. Well, my responsibilities involve taking care of the entire plant, certainly its people. We have about uh, close to 100 employees here on this site. The first thing I do when I get here in the morning, I'll, I'll walk around um, watching everything run and touching base with the, the operators and, and making sure everything's running good and talking to them about any concerns they might have. My name's Steve Mattel, I'm a maintenance coordinator. My responsibilities here in Tillamook are to acquire parts, make sure that we have the stuff for the jobs that get taken care of on the weekend. I also fill in as a millwright, I have a millwright's card. We focus on root cause analysis of failure. Uh, we, we, we try to get to the bottom and, and bottom of what happened, what caused it, so we can prevent it from happening again. It is commonly misunderstood that a millwright can only work in a sawmill, but actually, because of their advanced technical knowledge, they are valuable in many industries. I'm Ray Mack. I'm an engineering utility supervisor at Tillamook Cheese. I solve problems. My day consists of showing up and dealing with whatever's broke, whatever needs to be uh, moved, fixed, or run. My, the guys that work for me take care of the equipment. Uh, we take care of the boilers, the refrigeration, the air compressors, uh, all the equipment that runs the plant. 
Out of necessity, local industry has had to bring in skilled workers from outside the community to perform specialized work. This is very costly to do. A lot of times we will actually have the robotics people come in and do it themselves because we have to be so diversified here. We have so many different types of equipment that it almost requires a specialist. There has been a general shift in the needs of industry. Changes are taking place that require workers to have more technical knowledge and higher skill levels. So you've seen huge advancements in scanning and vision technology, especially now they have x-ray technology. You know, Tillamook is in a, a rural environment, but the world is a pretty small place. And the, the technology is, is just the, is the same here as it is anywhere else. I, I think to be competitive, it really doesn't matter where you're located. If you're going to be competitive, you have to keep up with, with the technological innovation that's going on. As we continue to, do, to grow and develop as a company, I see more and more opportunities for technical skills. And it seems like we're always looking for people with electrical and programming skills. Um, it's, it's getting tougher and tougher uh, with the way things are advancing. It, it's getting less mechanical and more electrical and computer controlled. There are so many areas that are connected to technology today. How do we help people have the technology so they can do this? They have to know enough technology in an applied area to be competitive. Tillamook Bay Community College, founded in 1981, has evolved to offer a variety of educational programs to the community. One of these is the Industrial Maintenance Technology Program, also known as IMT. Probably the, the greatest strength of the program, the IMT program, is the fact that we have buy-in from uh, the school district, the community college, and the industry folks, uh, and uh, there's a commitment um, by all of them to develop a pathway for current students and existing employees uh, to improve their skills. We really see three big benefits to working in this program so that we could address the needs of finding employees who wanted to work in Tillamook and who wanted to work at the mill. We know people who want to live in the community. We're trying to grow people, the youth in our community in which we do business, and we have a need, especially the electrical and mechanical trades. It is, uh, it's difficult. There's a shortage of those folks that are, have those skill sets. So we're building um, courses and hands-on approach to learning and exposure to the real world. I'm an adjunct instructor at the IMT. I taught process control, statistical process control. Last term, right now, I'm teaching drives. And we actually bring our class to the mill here and show them the stuff. Last week, we were here, and we went through the planer line and took the covers off and looked at all the drive systems throughout the mill. Uh, I taught the preventative maintenance concepts course uh, last fall. Uh, I taught the advanced machine shop course during the winter and I'm, I'm teaching the proportional hydraulics class now. And this program challenges them in their science curriculum and their technical curriculum. And not only that, they've taken classes with professors that work in the mill. So now they are known by the people who might employ them. Industrial maintenance technician is one of those things that is beyond high school. You don't need a bachelor's degree, but it is a growing area. Um, and I think as we can meet those needs in this community, it helps people in our community stay in our community and our businesses be more competitive. There are lots of possibilities for young people to get their foot in the door through youth apprenticeships and job shadowing opportunities. This allows them to gain valuable work experience and get a feel for what is expected in a technical career. I'm Mitch Bartline. I'm a senior at Tillamook High School and I'm doing an apprenticeship at Hampton Lumber. It sounded like a great opportunity to learn and get introduced to the industry. What does a young person need to do to prepare themselves for a technical career? The advice I'd give students um, beyond high school, um, they need to certainly learn to budget their time. Go to, go to school and learn all that you can at school. Um, one of the things that, that college really helps you with is learning how to learn. And that is, that is one of the most important pieces of a collegiate education that you can pull away. You don't have to be young to start in a technical career. There are lots of people who return to school after being away for a while. Work experience along with technical training is always very attractive to employers. The IMT program is open to everyone and offers hands-on training to develop technical skills that can be applied to a variety of industries.
there are also many potential apprenticeship opportunities and job positions available through the program. If you're interested in mechanical or electrical systems and want to be a valued member of a skilled workforce, don't delay. Please contact Tillamook Bay Community College for more information.